and welcome to another video guys um, just starting out from the living room slash kitchen here and out that window is the new planter that I purchased if you saw my previous video uh, you were with me when I took my uh, big tractor which is right here the 8530 and I went and purchased a larger planter after uh, what you see down there my uh, K7520 I had purchased uh, a planter for that smaller medium size and uh, originally I was planning on doing this field next to the house in canola um, just because I think it would look really uh, really nice with the yellow uh, yellow uh, crop field next to the house and also uh, canola is one of my favorite crops to plant and use because it is a very uh, very uh, important crop and has a lot of functions like you know making biodiesel for one thing um, which I do at the other farm in California so I was planning on planting that but I did not pay close enough attention uh, when I purchased the planter that's currently hooked to the red tractor the case over there it is not capable of planting canola it's only capable of planting a few other crops uh, including sunflower so what I did is I started to plant sunflower and then decided you know what what the heck i'll finish the field with canola so that was another reason to go out and purchase this is because this planter is capable of uh not only planting canola but other crops but also it is able of planting direct into standing crop or dead crop whatever uh, it does not need a tilled or cultivated field so um that's something uh and this is a mod by the way these are both mods um, so, I'm, uh, yep, I'm just gonna hop in, excited to, uh, get, <laughs> these are all brand new, so excited to get a little dirt on them, um, but also I'm gonna be using the GPS system, uh, the red tractor is not equipped with GPS, but this, uh, uh, this tractor is, and I'm going to get a little re-familiarized with that, um, GPS planting is, a, I think it's its own mod, or it might be part of, the, yeah, excuse me, it might be part of the precision farming mod I'm um, not I can't remember it's been a while since I've uh, well not, it hasn't been that long but uh, recently I was using it using the uh, GPS planting mod at my other farm the California farm and uh, that went pretty well so this is, but this is starting brand new field um, which is already half planted so uh, I'm just gonna f take a few seconds to figure that out So I love uh, love how this tractor sounds, <laughs> and uh, just a really really cool piece of equipment. Um, but I think so. Looking at this, uh, yeah, I'll just drive uh, drive through the gap here and back it up, and cause I've got I've got to unfold this. Uh, oops, that was not the right one. I'm trying to close the door here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. It's a really nice looking tractor. <laughs> I'm going to knock the cruise, uh, cruise control down before I mistakenly turn it on while planting. Okay, make sure the dog's out of the way. Sometimes he likes to get in between the equipment here. And so, I don't know if I said it already, but this is a Great, great Plains planter. Um, I forget the number numbering of it, but uh, it is a mod. It is not included in the game, although it looks very similar to the one included in the game, in the sim, rather. Uh, but this one, like I said, is able to plant in through this instead of it, this having to be knocked down or tilled or cultivated. So, it's one nice feature I like about this planter. It makes it a little more realistic. I'm gonna go ahead and unfold it now. And, uh, oh yeah, it's got the marking wells, that's right. Okay. So one issue I was having with the other planter is that even though it has marking wheels, uh, they were not showing up in this crop. So I'm gonna see, see if um, the marking wheels on this will leave a mark that is visible as I go through here. Um, but actually, like I had said earlier, I was going to use GPS anyway, so I might not do that. <laughs> um, but I might just test that out real quick, but uh, I do mainly want to get GPS set up and uh, 
just uh, yeah, it won't take too long actually. It might, it really might not even be worth doing. Uh, but this, I don't know, this would be like two passes, two and a half. So let's just try it out. And my green icon there in the right hand of the screen edge is showing on, so the GPS system is activated. And uh, there's a couple more things I have to do to get it set up. Uh, but to access GPS menu, that little green icon has to be displayed, uh, indicating that it's ready for use. I'm just trying to get along the very edge without making a bunch of marks in the field, big fat mess. I do want to try and be a little precise since I'm using the GPS system. I don't care if there's a little bit of a uh, edge, like I like to leave a little bit of, uh, I don't know, like a barrier around the field sometimes if there was a previous crop, because I didn't plant this, um, but just kind of a way of like a little bit of land reclamation, uh, you know, just not planting every square inch, but allowing, you know, nature to take back a little bit. Uh, so I need to activate the GPS menu, which you'll see here in a second. Okay. And we're going to auto width. And uh, we should be good there. My little dot things should appear. Oops, what did that do? No, that's not what I wanted that to do. <laughs> I guess uh, occasionally the keyboard commands interfere with the the commands of the other equipment. <laughs> so GPS is on. And I need steering on. Ah, create a track, okay. Uh, huh. Oh, okay. Think. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> I've got to think for a second. So, okay, right, right, right. So, yeah, my bad. So, uh, that's that's what's required is I have to create a track and then save it in, as a profile. Um, so, okay. If so I can just go ahead and start planning. And I've got seed. Okay, I'm just going to do a check there. I've got seed. I'm going to pull out the one marking wheel. Uh, switch to the planner. Ridge marker. There we go. Just in case, it's kind of like a backup. Uh, cruise control set, GPS is on. I think that's, I just have to create a line. Um, canola is set. And all right. Try and keep it straight. So the GPS, if I'm remembering correctly, we'll figure out if I'm correct in a second here. The GPS is now, following my path and we'll use this to uh, basically calibrate and be able to line me up perfectly uh, for a pass in the opposite direction uh, once and then just continue on from there so this is kind of like setting the setting the profile I guess or I'm not exactly sure how to put that in words but anyway um, if I'm correct, and I'm gonna see in a second if that's true. If I didn't, uh, if I did it correctly. <laughs> but unfortunately, it doesn't look like the parking wheel is looking or is working. Uh, so that's a little unfortunate. But if GPS it's working right here, then we'll need it. I'm gonna make sure I hold that up. Raise the planner just so I don't accidentally back it up. And okay, go back to our GPS menu here. <laughs> I probably didn't do it right. Failed to save. Failed to save track data. Oh, okay.
Oh, hold on. Let me... I want to get out of this. Field 19. That's fine. 530. Field 19. Okay. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. <laughs> Okay, I meant I should have hit set A. Okay, that was my mistake. Okay, just gonna get turned around here. <laughs> oh, man, that thing looks ah, oh, <laughs> looks so nice. I love it. It's, yeah, this thing, this sim looks amazing. <laughs> so satisfying. So, I've already screwed this up. <laughs> but, okay, we might, okay, we might be, this might not be too bar too terrible. Alright, lower the planter. I'm going to go back to my GPS menu here. Set A, okay. So I think I'm, now I'm creating a path, if I remember correctly. We'll go ahead and just roll with it. Oh, shit. I need to turn on the planner first. There we go. Okay. Cruising girl said it's a model an hour. And, oh, okay. Slightly. Oh, okay. Alright, so you can see it now. That wasn't my mistake. It's a little green A floating there. It's getting further away from us. Uh, that is the A marker. Um, and that will create the path for us once I set B and then looks like we'll we'll at least be able to do <laughs> one pass fully GPS uh, set up so yeah not a big deal um, you know I, there's so many different mods I've got going on and uh, this one it's been a while since I've played around with it besides so just using it well, which already had the preset field profile of the other form so I didn't have to do this, not about this step, and I'm going to drive, sorry, I'm going to drive through my pre-planted uh, section there. Alright, go back to GPS menu, set B, and now, there we go. Okay, did you see what I did there? <laughs> did I see what I did? <laughs> so I, I uh, next time I'll do this, but I created a profile, I'm naming it for this specific field, this specific tractor and I had to create a start point and a finish point which I just did. Once you create the finish point it is able to save this and now we're going to see once I get turned around again that it's going to be able to give us guidance here. Once I get steering activated there we go. Did you hear a little beep? And Oh god. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Make sure I don't yeah. Get a little close to that tree there. Ooh. Way too close. So I'm still missing missing a step here or something. GPS is on. And it is that wants to go in a completely different direction. Huh. Maybe I need to select this? Oh.
I'm not sure. Huh. Thought I had this figured out. Well, in any case, <laughs> there's always another field I can try. And at least I have straight lines to follow here, but I just really, really thought the GPS would be activated. Ready to go here. See what happens. Should be seeing my dots for the GPS system. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm expecting there to be dots and there isn't. Go ahead and lower the sower. Cruise control set. Let's see if it doesn't. No. I am not steering, by the way. I think it worked. Okay, so it's working. You can see the wheel jerking slightly. That's not me. So the tractor is driving itself. All right. <laughs> That's so odd, though. There should be like little dots that are visible. Um, yeah. That is weird. Wonder why they're not showing up. But yeah, the tractor is driving itself at this point. So as you can, yeah, you can see my the green steering wheel there on the little right hand edge of the screen. Uh, so. GPS system is fully guiding the tractor. It's working, even though it looked like it wasn't. Uh, we're completing our last line in the field. It's a little, okay, there's the beep telling me to get ready to end here, because we'll, uh, we'll come back. Okay, so it's working. I just really thought the the uh, guidance dots were going to appear. Maybe there's a way to turn them off. Guidance steering. Oh, show lines. Okay. That's what it is. Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, we finally got it. So there they are. Uh, oh, okay, they don't, they don't, they, they only show up when I'm in the tractor. But yeah, there's, so you can see the orange dots and the tractor centered on the green dot. That was my, that was the source of my confusion. It wasn't as hard as it was appearing to be. Um, so yeah, we got it figured out. Excellent. And I'm just gonna finish this, this, uh, this uh, row here, vertical row, um, manually. So there we go. It took me a little while to re-familiarize with the GPS system, but now I can just copy and paste and finish the field easily with this system. I just wanted to demonstrate what it's like. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment about the GPS system. Because uh, it is a mod that I downloaded for FS19. We'll go ahead and finish this here. Now the dots are a little annoying. Um, so I think I'll turn off the GPS system at the moment, just so they're not distracting me. And I'll get lined up here, just make sure I'm close to the edge as I can be. And just pick a random straight line to follow. I like using that. The hood ornament is perfect for <laughs> target selection, following a path. Just stare at that and you'll always plant straight as long as you're, uh, yeah, as long as the previous lines are straight. Okay, lower. So we're on. It's nice and straight easy. Finish of the field here. Right on the edge, perfect. Glad you're here with me to struggle as I try to remember how to do all this. It's not that complicated. 
you know, I'm overlapping here, making a complete mess and a fool of myself, but <laughs> it's okay. And done. Perfect. Right on. So, we've got this field almost completely planted now. I'm going to take that tractor down there, the case, and I'm just going to finish the uh, line of sunflowers. So this field is now officially half canola and half sunflower, and it's going to look really cool when that finally blooms. Um, so yeah, so I've, yeah, I've got I'm a large planter and a medium-sized planter now, and the uh, fields on this map vary widely in size. And this field here is very small, um, but still big enough I could use the uh, the John Deere uh, and the GPS system for that, um, because it is capable of planting more crops than the other planter, which is something else to consider too. I'm going to go ahead think, yeah, we'll just leave this here. Yeah, I'll just leave this here and in position. Perfect. It's such a good looking tractor. <laughs> Oops, not the head. I always accidentally hit that one. Right on. So, oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go over there and finish this pass. And get my little, yeah, needs plowing. I don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> Just reading a little dialogue box there. I've got to decipher what these mean. I think one is crop moisture, which is irrelevant at this moment, uh, since there is no standing crop currently. But, oh yeah, so, I did previously conduct soil samples on this field, um, so eventually I'm going to probably have to fertilize <coughs> to get optimal yield, um, but I try not to use synthetic fertilizer because it is a little controversial, or, and well, in the realm of, you know, regenerative slash sustainable agriculture, it's definitely not ideal uh, to be using synthetic fertilizer, so, you know, stuff like manure or, or things like that, or even planting legumes that add nitrogen to the soil, at, you know, cover cropping and different things. That's what I'm trying to practice. So uh, I think I'll probably end up spreading manure or something, but still a little early to figure out what I want to do. This is another very nice tractor that I'm happy to have and looking forward to spending time in. So our planter's up, not engaged, not on, so I'm ready to move. Just going to do a little finishing up here in my sloppy first field planting of the farm. And we are set to sunflowers. Of course now our, the ridge marker will work. Um, but yeah, I really need to do one fast. I was mentioning the ridge marker because, you know, I've already cut down the existing crop, so it should work now, leaving me a uh, line to follow. Okay, lower, on, cruise control set. Maybe this will fill in. Yeah, I think it will. Yeah. One more pass. And I'll just leave the rest. Not perfect. It's the start. Infection will be the, the fields that I plant later. Okay, stop here. Camera up. Off. And let's get out of this field. Next time I'll be in here is probably either be spreading fertilizer or maybe harvest. We'll see how it goes. It makes the walk right next to the tractors. I'm 
attempt to or park this off to the side here. Machine. And that's not that warm up. Start pulling temperature out a little bit. Very satisfying to hear this thing run and turn off. Alright. So, officially got one field planted with a mix of crops. Uh, I'm going to figure out what I want to plant in this field next. That will probably be another video since I'm already nearing 25 minutes. Or over 25 minutes. Um, <laughs> beehives are humming. So yeah, canola and sunflower look excellent there. Uh, I do tend to harvest canola to sell it or use it, so that may be the majority of the crop that I end up planting, uh, at least uh, at least for the, for now. Um, like I've said before, I'm pretty new to this map, so figuring out what I want to grow, what I want to sell, if anything. Or just use my own use, uses, purposes like uh, biodiesel and things, um, which canola is excellent for. But yeah, so that was the, uh, <laughs> that was kind of the uh, rough, rough uh, tutorial on how to use that GPS system. But uh, yeah, took me a little while to get my memory jogged again. But anyway, congratulations and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.